What's up guys, Luke Freeman here, Twin Tree Rumors, and today we're doing an update video telling you what we've been up to. We've been really busy, so we just haven't been doing anything on YouTube. Uh, just trying to get caught up with work and uh, aerations, and just the season's almost over, so we're getting caught up with everything. Um, also, Isaac hasn't been working because he uh, broke his leg or knee or whatever, and uh, we'll be telling you a little bit more about what we've been up to in a few minutes. Alright guys, here's our first new purchase. It's a 6 and a half by 14 tandem axle load star trailer. Ambrose Landscaping uses these trailers. And uh, we like it a lot. It's a brand new trailer. We got rid of our 12 foot because long story short, it got in a wreck. We let somebody use it. And uh, we just went ahead and got a new one. It's uh, really nice, a lot bigger than our last one. So we can get um, more mowers on here and uh, maybe a new purchase, we don't know yet. But um, it's gonna haul a lot more. It's not putting as much strain in our truck. It does have one brake, which is better for when we're hauling more uh, weight behind the truck. And uh, yeah, it just, overall, it's a great trailer. The, it does have some lifts on the trailer. Uh, Luke can tell you a little bit more about that. Um, so Gorilla Lift, they sent us lifts. And uh, we had them on our old trailer, but they didn't go on right. And uh, with our brand new trailer, we didn't really want to put four holes, four holes right in it. And so on our old trailer, we, we tried a new idea. We put two, an eye hole here, a carabiner here, and we uh, got a couple extra carabiners, and we mounted just the spring to the trailer. And it works almost as, I'm um, almost better, I would say, than the Gorilla Lifts. And we didn't have to put as many uh, holes in our trailer. Yes, it does not say Gorilla Lift, which uh, we're sorry, Gorilla Lift, if you're not getting to see your name on the side of our trailer, but we are going to keep shouting them out because they do make a great product, even though it could, we didn't want to put them on our new trailer. We went ahead and used their springs, so yes, they are Gorilla Lifts. Um, Gorilla Lifts did send us their lifts, and uh, we still are using them. It's not like we're not using them at all. So, yeah. um, And we, when Gorilla Lift, we contacted Gorilla Lift to see if we can get some uh, their lifts for our trailer, and they were saying that they, we were trying to tell them on our old trailer we didn't think it would work and it wouldn't work with this trailer and they said they'll go ahead and send it out to us that if it doesn't work then try and make something out or modify your trailer well we ended up figuring out that if we get as you can see we just got some cutters and kind of cut that right there and then bought these like heavy duty carabiners then I went to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and just got like these eyelet holes as you can see and they screw in right there and and then it has the two springs that are on the grill lift and just goes down and just hooked up down there by all the way down there by a carabiner. So that's what we pretty much did and huge shout out to Grill Lift for sending us these lifts for our trailer. And y'all be maybe like, what racks? What racks? Well we do have our green touch racks in the garage and we also have a, I think a equipment defender rack, but we aren't really sure what we're gonna put on the trailer yet. Um, we did talk to Green Touch about getting some racks, and uh, at this time they're not sending out any more racks. So um, I think just because some other people have kind of messed that whole system up, but they're not sending out any more racks. And, but we're gonna definitely buy racks. We're not looking to anybody to send some. If you do want to send it to us, let let us know. But uh, we're looking to buy some racks to put on our trailer, and uh, we'll let you know whenever we get them. And uh, I'm just gonna elaborate that on, on that really fast. Uh, Green Touch Industries, they went ahead and sent us out the two position rack for our old trailer and we told them that, thanks very much, like, would you be interested in sending us a four position or a blower rack? He was like, yes, we'd be very interested in sending you one, give me four weeks when the new shipment comes in and we'll go ahead and send you a new, go ahead and send out those racks for you, just wait a couple weeks. So I contacted him back, didn't get anything, contacted him again, didn't get anything. The third time I contacted them, I called him and then he finally left, got, got back to me and said oh well now that you waited four weeks we decided we're not gonna send out any more racks uh, me and the owner talked there's not we're not sending out any more promotional racks so right now since that just happened like a couple days ago we haven't ordered any racks for the new trailer yet uh with that being said not really sure who we're gonna go with yet just because we waited for green touch to go ahead and send us some racks and then they kind of bailed on us and didn't get back to us so that's kind of a disappointment but we are gonna try and get some racks. We're gonna go ahead and buy them. Uh, Luke, as Luke was saying, we have a jungle gym blower rack, a uh, equipment, de uh, not equi equipment defender, uh, hand tool rack, equipment defender, water cooler rack, and a 
green touch to position rack. And uh, as of right now, those green touch will not be going on this trailer. We're going to end up buying some better racks that can hold three or four positions. And I'm um, not sure about the company yet, but I just wish Green Touch would have held up to what they said about it. Yeah, because, so. I mean, they did kind of just, like, throw us under the bus or hack us off because they said they were going to send us some. But it's it's in the past. We don't need to worry about it. We'll get some new racks for the trailer, and uh, we're going to get on with the video. Uh, so we're still running the same mowers, the Toro Titan HD 1500 series and the Toro Grandstand. Um, they're working out really great. Uh, I've been following a couple things with the trailer, but the Titan HD has 113.8 hours on it. So uh, watch out for another updated review coming back on it. Also, the Advanced Shoe System, it's great. We love it. We couldn't recommend it enough, and uh, we're thankful for Advanced Shoe System sending it out to us. Um, also, on the grandstand over here, it has. 117.1 hours on it and uh, it's doing great we don't have any problems with the grandstand it's got the Kawasaki engine like everybody knows and um, yeah I mean they're dirty because we've been working a ton and we just haven't had time to put up YouTube videos uh, we're probably gonna just clean them up a little bit and um, all right guys so we're still running the same handheld equipment we have the two 225s we picked up a Pro Extreme Series PAS 2620. Um, so um, we have the hedge trimmer attachment for it here. And we've been using it a lot for hedge trimming. We still have the Echo PB770 and the PB580. We're not using the 580 as much just because we need to get a piece for it. And uh, But yeah, the, it's everything's running great. The Echo 225s, um, we're probably going to be upgrading them next season. Like I know we've said we've been upgrade, wanna, wanting to upgrade them, sorry. but. Um, they're they're running fine, but they're starting to have a little bit of problems. Granted, they are two and a half years old, and they are homeowner trimmers, but they work great. And uh, we should be looking to upgrade them next season, just because they're starting to have a little bit of problems. And uh, the Echo, I mean the PAS system here, it's running amazing. I mean, the first time I did it, it took a couple pulls to start, but for hedge trimming jobs, it's a lifesaver. So I don't have to get up on ladders or anything. It's uh, extendable, and then. Uh, the 770, we've been using it like every day, every single one of our yards, and I have have not had a single problem with it. So I definitely recommend any Echo equipment um, to y'all and uh, looking to see what new trimmers we're gonna be getting next season. All right guys, so we're getting into fall aeration and overseeding, and this is kind of what we use. We have our AgriFab aerator here. We know it has two different wheels, and it's a couple years old, but it works, and we're making money, and it's making us money, so there's no reason to upgrade it yet. Maybe sooner, later down. I mean, later down the road, we'll get a new one. But for now, it works. Um, we're using some Kentucky 31 grass, tall fescue grass seed for down here in the south, and also some Scotch weed and feed. It's just buckets full of it. And then our spreaders. We have a new Scott spreader. It's just a little homeowner one, just because we needed it, because our other one broke, and I needed to get something to use that day. And a little Scott's Wiz for maybe little backyards or where there's not a little a lot of area you need to be spreading just like a little handheld just get it done uh, but yeah this is what we're going to be using for fall aeration and overseeding all right guys so here's our gas cans we use uh sure cans we have four of the 2.2 gallons and one of the five gallons we went to pick up a couple more of them the other day but our tractor supply was out so maybe we need to go to lowe's or whatever but sure cans are great uh you may be like what happened to no spill our no spill started denting in we got one here for you to see but, I mean, look at them. They're, we can't deal with gas cans that just dent in all the time. Our sure cans are great. We really stand behind them. When we have our first logo here, their second logo here, and our third logo here. So, I mean, we really stand behind our sure cans, as you can see. Uh, we like our sure cans, and uh, we're probably going to be looking to get rid of these. Um, but, yeah, sure can, no spill. I mean, sure can is definitely going to win on this one. On the last one, we were saying that no spill was winning, but after putting them through the uh, use, they're just they won't hold up so thanks for watching today's video guys we'll see you in the next one please like comment and subscribe